It's been a little while since we've done some metal casting. So I've got my ingot of pewter here, I've got a new mold, and I've got all my safety gear. Let's do this. I'm replacing this part of my Blade Runner blaster and I want to cast it out of pewter. And I've got a mold made out of Mold Max 60, which is a high temp silicone. And since the last time I've done some metal casting, I've learned quite a bit, thanks to the comments in our previous videos. The first thing, I've got these plates of aluminum here so that when I close up my mold, I can clamp them together with that. This is opposed to the wood that I used before. The wood was fine, but it did get a little burned from the molten metal. The main difference is gonna be, I'll wrap it up with wire instead of rubber bands. The last time I did this, I poured metal and some of it dripped out the side, hit the rubber bands and they instantly melted and the mold opened. That's no good. We're also trying some different things with the pewter. For one, our little ladle is I think too small. So we think that ladle was designed for casting bullets one at a time. It doesn't hold a lot of material. So instead, we went and got this from the thrift store. We're gonna modify it, put a little pouring spout on it, and then we're gonna melt the pewter directly in there and then pour it from that into our mold. That way we don't have to transfer it and we have access to the entire stock of pewter that's in there. Also, we have a thermometer so that we know how hot everything is. So that's our original hot pot over there. It's got the old pewter in it. We're gonna heat that up, transfer it into this pot once we've made our modification. And hopefully this hot plate will heat up enough to melt the pewter, we'll find out. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get to it and we'll see if it works. After a little bit of love with a hammer and a screwdriver and a vise, I've put a little dent in there. And we're gonna put that on there and see if we can melt some pewter. That seems like it's getting pretty hot. Britt's got the, the temperature on there and it's, it claims that it is high. So we're gonna put a hunk of pewter in there and see if it melts. So this pot is, I think, aluminum, maybe stainless steel. Either way, it's gonna have a much higher melting point than the pewter, so it probably won't melt, probably. While the pewter is heating up, I can prep my mold here. Uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit of baby powder on the mold and then brush it in there, make sure it's in all the nice details. Quick note, I have an air vent cut in. So I'll pour the molten metal down here and there will be room for air to escape. Hopefully, it can all get clamped up, like so. And I'll wrap it with wire. We should be good to go. Well, would you look at that? The hot plate does get hot enough to melt pewter. Look at it, pretty awesome. Well, this is excellent news. We can throw some more pewter in there, melt it all down, and then get ready to pour it. Okay, my wire wrap didn't really work, so I just got a clamp holding the two halves of my mold together. It's all metal, it should be fine. I've got it propped up on some one, two, three blocks. Everything seems fairly secure. Brittany put some more pewter in. We got a whole bunch ready to go. It's all melted. Now when we pour it, we wanna make sure that any of the cruddy dross or slag on the top there doesn't make it down into the mold. So Britt can just kinda of skim off what she can. And then when we pour it, make sure that none of that goes down the pouring spout. Very good. We've melted down the Evil T-1000. He'll be back. <laughs> and Terminator 10. You ready to pour? Sure. Okay. Okay, we are ready to go. Britt is gloved up. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm just filming. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, no. It's everywhere. It's on the table. It's on the table. It's okay. The pour went really well, though. Um, I mean, it looks like it's in there. I don't know. I don't think enough went in there. It looks full. It's gonna be like 15 minutes before we can demold that, so we'll cut back shortly. It smells like burning. Let's see what sort of damage we did here. Oh, that's still, it's a little, a little burny, a little go, bit burned. That can go right back in the pot. It's fine, it's it's art. Here we go, we'll, we'll just turn this into, into some artwork. We'll just do. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody! 
I'm a piece of artwork on the countertop totally on purpose. <laughs> Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and the temperature has dropped. So we figure we could probably hold it. And since Britt has the gloves on, I'm gonna let her do it. <laughs> What's your theory about how it turned out? Or my prediction? Yes. My prediction is that it didn't fill all the way. All right. Well, what do you think? I'm optimistic. I bet it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what this. Ah, <laughs> that's pretty great. Oh my gosh, it, it didn't fill all the way up the No, the um, thing. I think that plugged it. Yeah. But it looks like it, it, it was enough for the air to escape. That is really impressive. It looks like, let's see if I can, there is a bit of a seam. That looks pretty good. Well, that's pretty great for a first try. Uh, it's got all the knurling in there, which is really what I was concerned with. And uh, I just need to polish this thing up and it should be good to go. Well, of course I have to drill some holes in it and everything, but uh, but yeah, level up. We're, we're, our, our pewter casting game is definitely getting a lot better. Even though we burned the table. Even though we the part of the table kind of caught on fire. It's cool. Hi, hi, you guys. Just happy I could play along. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we think we can do better. So we, we're trying again. Instead of clamping it and squishing the silicone, a bit because the first one ended up a tiny bit oblong. I've wrapped the uh, mold closed with aluminum tape, which shouldn't melt and should hold it together nicely. All right, we are ready to try again. We think we can do better this time. Temperature is over 500. It's over 500. So Britt's ready to go. I'm nervous. Oh my goodness. Probably it. I just wanted to get metal inside your one, two, three block. That's great. Oh, oh, look at it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Eh. All right, well, now we wait and see how we did. Looks like we made more art. That's pretty well stuck on there. Look at that, it dribbled all the way down through there. It probably cooled right away too, because this is a big heat sink. Look, look at the bottom. <laughs> 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 well, I bet we can just hit this with a blowtorch and it'll probably all fall out. Okay, take number two seems to be cooled down enough. I should be able to remove my aluminum tape. Time for the reveal. Ba -da -da -da. That looks really good. That is even better than the first one. So here are the two attempts. They're both pretty good, although the second one is a little bit better. Just some more detail in the knurling. So cool, I'm gonna keep this one cause I have to drill some holes in this and that's how I goofed up the original. <laughs> so I'll practice on that one. And when I refine my technique, I will do it on this one. But if I have to, I can always cast another one. Here are the two that I cast today. Here is the original one. I did not cast this one. This is the one I got in the kit. You can see where I goofed it up. Uh, but I think I got it pretty darn close. This is the piece that I molded. It was 3D modeled and printed on the form two. And then I made this mold here and cast these parts. So all I have to do with this piece now is buff it up. It will get painted black for the final uh, Blade Runner gun part. But since it's metal, I can just buff it with like 400 grit sandpaper and then use some steel wool to bring a bit of a shine to it and it'll be good to go. Now, something else we wanted to try out while we had all the melting stuff out was whether or not we could pour something in a non high temperature silicone. So this is Mold Max 60 and it's designed for higher temperatures. This stuff says it'll go up to 560 degrees Fahrenheit or about 300 Celsius, which is great for casting pewter or lead, but Mold Max 30, which is a non high temp silicone, that still says it'll do 400, right? So we melted up a batch of the pewter and poured it into this Mold Max 30 mold. And while it did get a little toasty and smoky, it totally survived. You can see the finish is a little bit tarnished and kind of brownish. That's burnt right there. That is a little bit burnt. Right yeah. Right there. Yeah. But I bet you could get two or three pulls of pewter out of a mold like this. So if you only need a couple of things cast in pewter and all you have is this type of silicone, go for it. In fact, I only needed one of these, so I probably could have just used the Mold Max 30. But I had some 60 on hand 
So I went for it. Definitely learned a lot, especially thanks to many of the comments in our previous video. So thank you everyone for your help. And don't pour pewter on dead tree carcass tables. If you can avoid <laughs> pouring it on the uh, woodenwork surface, uh, we, we recommend that. But that was a lot of fun. We learned a bit today, definitely getting a little bit better at this metal casting, at least with pewter anyway. Of course, if you're curious about the materials or tools we used, in this video you can head down to the description we'll have everything listed down there thanks so much for hanging out with us in the shop today we learned a little bit hopefully you learned a little bit too that can help you on one of your upcoming proper costume projects thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next build